is John with Precision Restorations out of St. Louis. Uh, right here, this is our 1949 DeSoto Club Coupe. We're doing this restoration for a gentleman out of Ithaca, New York. And um, as you can see here, we disassembled the whole car. Not too bad as far as rust goes. Uh, there was some rust that we knew about around where the trim goes. I'm going to show you here on the other side. Just where water got caught and, um, you know, rusted right underneath the trim. But not too bad. A pretty solid body. Now, there's a couple different ways when you're stripping a vehicle. One way, of course, that everybody knows and they ask about is uh, media blasting. Now, media blasting works really good. It does get everything off the vehicle, all the old paint. Um, one of the problems, though, with media blasting is that... If you have glass and you have uh, gauges, you have a steering column, you have an engine, everything's still in the car, that media wants to get everywhere. Media blasting works a lot better for um, uh, bare, bare shells, bare bodies. So what you'll see Mike doing here is, um, Mike is using mechanical stripping. He's basically got sandpaper. Um, they also can use a grinding disc in some areas, but he's got sandpaper and he's sanding off all the old paint works pretty effectively using what grit here 80 80, 80 grit. grit 80 grit yeah. so it works pretty effectively um pretty quick some areas uh, and on some vehicles you'll see us also use a um aircraft uh, aircraft quality um chemical stripper first and that'll get a lot of the paint off and then we come back and then we mechanically strip so once uh, Mike has all this done, what he's going to be able to do is he's going to be able to see exactly what was under the paint, what condition the body truly is in, um, and then we'll be able to do our all of our body repairs and also uh, etch, prime, and seal the body, uh, which is an acidic-based primer that bites into bare metal, keep it from uh, rusting on us while we're uh, while the car is going through its restoration phases.